Hello everyone, welcome to Iris and the Giant. This is a demo version, obviously you can see it's demo v.020. I have played this a little bit to get an idea for what it is, and it's a very interesting game. So, let's join, and let's uh, jump straight into it. As you can see here, I do have a memory, and this, if it's going to load, will allow me to get a permanent buff. So, either I can get a golden hourglass for bonus turns, or steel, steel cards in chests. I say we get steel cards. There we go. So let's start. And here we are, I believe, well, title screen of course, Iris and the Giant. And here we are crossing the river Styx, ferried by Chow Charon? Chor Charon, the ferryman. I do hope she's got two drachma to pay him, otherwise it's a long walk. Ah, here we are. Yes, the ferryman of the Styx. River that separates the real from the imaginary. It's funny. I no longer feel fear, but I know I am here to face my demons. I love how the art style, it's completely like blue and white. It's very, very minimalistic, but it's very effective. And here is the meat of the game. It's not what I thought it was. This is in fact a kind of, uh, in fact, it's a sort of card based puzzle RPG mesh hybrid thing. See, that axe will clear all of those foes. I can use multiple swords on the same turn. That. Oh, oh I missed that one up. Bow for that one. And now I can just go to the next level if I so wish. Which I will. Next, no. Here we are. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. The music is excellent. So here we have skeletons. They're, as you had seen, they'll hit me if I, if I end my turn in front of them. These, this cat will shoot an arrow on me no matter where I am. That's a bear trap. So those need to be hit, um, hit with a bow to make sure you don't, you know, die. <laughs> So these are very good. Whips will basically shuffle the board. Will is health. I have two in the deck already, you can see there. I have three of those in the decks, no whips, and five arrows. So I'm going to take whips, and you can take another. And axes are good for clearance. So I'm gonna take that out. And we're gonna take some damage but everything's going to be all right. Wipe that one down. Get some extra bits and pieces. Yep, collecting crystals for cards. Uh, we can whip that out of the way or we could just take that out. So I think we will take that cat out, clear the, we'll take some hits, but it's all right. Now we'll go to the next level. And here we start getting different enemies. This thief cat, so if you run out of cards, you obviously end the game. So these things are very important to get rid of. And attack, if they're defeated, I steal a card, more whips, Restore the will, or we'll take the will, and we'll take the stealing the cards. So now I reckon the important thing is to do that, wipe those out, keep the cards. We're going to take some damage, but that's okay. Uh, take that out. Ah, take an axe card, that's good. That's very good. We don't know much we can do here. I say that has to be attacked three times. So I say we can, we can take a couple hits, but it will jump over things. 
Okay, we have to use that will card because we are very, very low, but we're back up, full health. Um, we will attack that once more and, oh, we really need that axe guard. Yes, so now if we swap, flip him round, use this axe and that takes all three of them out. And no stars mean we've killed enough to get a perk. So we can either upgrade our will, our resistance, so we get a shield. Um, tougher demons, but more rewards, immediate chest. We have enough cards for the moment. And I say we take resistance for some extra damage. And he, that big demon dropped something, so if we take that. It's a bit weird knowing where to click. You have to click at the bottom, it's not exactly perfect. So we can either get confidence cards, reduce high amounts of damage, steal cards. Okay, so we can use them all and we get cards nonetheless. You know, increased resistance. Health doesn't seem to be a massive issue. When you play a confidence card, it turns into a flame card you can use. I don't have that many confidence cards though. Um, hmm. Steel. I'm going to say we use steel cards. Specialize. Now, get that one and we can play the other one there. Pick those out of the way. That is a secret entrance, but I have to expend a lot of cards to get to it. So, we'll just go to the next floor. Am I in one of my dreams? The labyrinth maze of my imagination? With my will as my only guide? Oh, we're looking through the keyhole. These are... Maximum will down, so... We can take a lot of swords. Swords are good. We have two of those. We have four axes. We still have two whips. <clears throat> I'm going to say we take some more swords. Because if we have more in the hand, that's always good. Yeah, take the swords and... Mm. Whips. So move around. We've got four axes. So we either take more whips or more... I say we take the sickles for the stealing because we've already got the things. Now we can... Uh, that's... Hmm. Heal, steal, card. So it's better... To, I think it's better to take the hit rather than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a big hit there. And... I say that's about it for no we'll, we'll wait we'll wait can I skip no I have to use the cards I guess I have to use the cards that is really annoying hmm sure we'll use that Oh, okay, so he hasn't actually killed us yet. Yeah, let's use that. Get back up. Take that thing down. We get another th get another steely, steely card. Um, I'll say we pull that towards us, because that's a bigger threat, and take them both out. Oh my god, uh... Sure. We're getting some more cards, so that's alright. More swords? We've got lots of swords. Haven't got many axes, though, anymore. No bows, either. So I take, take that. We've got swords, so let's take some shields. And more jewels. Uh, do we want to? No, I say we don't. We'll just go up. We can't hold more than ten 
cards in our hand. Ah, we get more cards. That's perfect. We do have a lot of, you know, screw your damage sort of thing. That armory of the skeletons protects it from your first attack. Thief cats. That seems to be mine at all. More skeletons. So, I say... Packs of cards. Flame cards. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, we'll take those. Fatal blow to any opponent. Yeah, we'll take the fatal blows. And then... Pick those away. <coughs> oh, that could have gone better. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I could have been smarter than this. Okay, let's let's use that. That's all right. That's all right. What can we do to not, you know, interfere? So I say to minimize damage, we well, no loss as it were. We flip him to the front. We use one of these. And, ah, we get another level up. Optimism. Picking up a crystal gives me one will point. Imagination. Five cards instead of four. Nerve. I don't seem to run out of. Um, whatchamacallit? Card. Not cards, but. Draw hand seems to be alright, but that's possibly because I've just been picking up shit tons of chests. Optimism sounds interesting, but we haven't really been getting hit that badly. And crystals are good. Actually, yeah, let's get some more crystals. So he's going to jump next turn. Let's hit that. And we get that thief card back. Oh god, he hits like a tank. Yeah, we're going to have to use that. Get back up. And we'll use a dagger. Yep, yeah, instantly dead, no matter of his armour. What is that? This enemy is a terrible... Oh, it allows... Oh dear. Okay. We'll use this. Oh, we're going to get hit hard. Oh, God, this is close. This is very close. Mm. Okay, I can survive. We'll take that. But now we're going to have to play defense for a moment. Yep, heal us up and blocks these while we can get some healing back okay excellent we can blast our way through these guys now like that and what did he give us uh, what's this when I use a whip I steal a card does not work on enemies of the first oh damn it Oh, that's annoying. I'll take those. Yeah, uh, so yeah, this was Iris and the Giant. I hope you enjoyed it. It's, you know, it's a beautiful game. Puzzling, I cannot wait to see what they do with this combat because it sounds, it looks, and it plays really well. It's very intuitive. It's, you know, very... Uh, it flows really well, there's some nice tricks and combos you can pull off. The only thing that I would say is sometimes the traps put you in a position where you can't do anything but take damage. You really can't specialise your deck too much, you need to balance it out all the time. So, um, aside from that, I hope everyone enjoyed it. Check it out on Game Jolt, it's a fantastic game. If you like the video, please do like, comment, subscribe, yada yada yada. See you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.